Hello friends. I am Dr. Vikram Singh Pawar Patel, working as an assistant professor in geography in the new college Kolhapur. Today we are going to discuss about how to do digitization properly in QGIS environment. So friends, you may know that digitization is the process of data creation, especially vector data creation by using base map in the form of point, line or polygon. So friends, for the today's task, we will learn how to do, how to prepare village boundary layer of Radhanagari Tahsil. So friends, for that sake, we need base layer. Here I have taken this Radhanagari village map that I have obtained from the MRSAC website and the similar map has been georeferenced in QGIS environment. So with the help of this map, we are going to see how to prepare village boundary layer. So friends, for that sake, we need to create a layer. So in this layer panel, there is a create layer option. I am going to create the shape file layer for the boundary digitization. Here you have to save the created layer in a particular folder and assign the name. village boundary new. I have given this village boundary new layer. Then we need to select the geometry type. So as you know that the village boundary must be in a polygon format. So we, we are going to select this polygon village boundary layer and here we need to assign this projection. So my base layer is in WGS 1984 referencing system. So that's why I have selected this EPSG 4326 WGS84 as a projection. Then we need to add field. I'm just adding this name as a field with 30 length. Okay. It has been added here. So we need to start this toggle editing option. This yellow pencil is showing the toggle editing option. So by clicking this toggle editing option, all editor editing options will be highlighted. But we are going to do any kind of digitization, especially with polygon. We need to learn this snapping option tool. This is here, here in this layer panel highlighted, or you will find this here in project option. Okay. You have to enable this snapping option and you have to check this avoid overlap on active layer option. Then here is the polygon digitization tool that we need to select and we have to start digitization. Okay. I'm just going to digitize this particular village. It is little bit time taking process. But here for this example, I'm just roughly digitizing 
this village boundary layer ID number one name is K O C Botruk. Okay. Then we need to just click inside this already digitized layer for digitizing the contiguous villages because boundary must be similar one so for that sake we are just digitizing this adjacent village of this Kedushi Pudruk village Village is having little bit zigzag boundary. So, for the proper digitization, it will take time. This village name is Tarali Kurut. Look at that. The boundary of both the villages are similar one. We can just symbolize this in a different way. Look at that. This village is contiguously digitized. Suppose we have to digitize this another village. I'm just roughly digitizing this as early as look at that both villages are sharing the similar boundary with the Tarsamri village Look at that. This village is having similar boundary with these two villages, but by using this snapping tool and this avoid overlap on active layer tool, we could easily digitize the boundary of village or farmland or any continuous feature so friends with the help of this snapping tool we are having much more capability of uh, digitization of uh, any map i hope that you have learned a lot of things with this video if you like this video then please share and subscribe my channel Thank you for watching this video.